The question of paying collegiate athletes has long been debated. Some earn millions for their university. Should they be compensated for that, or is tuition enough? The top governing body in the NCAA has spoken, and changes are set to come at the start of the 2021-2022 academic year. The board ruled today that they support college athletes being able to profit from their name, image, and likeness, but at no point should a university or college be the one paying them. The money can be earned from a third party, both related and unrelated from athletics. Other avenues where athletes can earn money, social media, businesses they've started, and personal appearances. The board's recommendations will now move to the rules making structure in each of the NCAA's three divisions for further consideration. I've decided to take my doctor and education to Georgia Southwestern School <laughs> Zuri Robertson, one of four Florida High athletes who signed today. The Seminoles holding signing day virtually. Robertson, you heard him, playing at Georgia Southwestern. Jack Murphy will play baseball at Chipola. Ashton Tilton will play volleyball at Gulf Coast State College. And Kendall Thomas will play basketball at Florida State College in Jacksonville. I want to thank all my teammates, friends, and teachers for always pushing me to be my best. I'd like to thank my parents and my friends and family and uh, coaches, everybody who supported me along the way. We are excited to see her future in, uh, at Florida State uh, College in Jacksonville, and we're just excited to, for her future. Virtual or in person, today was a big day. Congrats to you guys. In Tallahassee, Allison Posey, ABC 27.